Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Gameplay Vids 24-7 here. Welcome back to my Idle Wizard gameplay walkthrough series for the PC. Guys, we are back. Do hope you're having a wonderful day out there. We are currently sitting on 10.40 QI. Who knows how much that really is in uh, normal numbers there, guys. I have no idea. But, dude, we have progressed quite a bit on Idle Wizard. As you can all see, we have a Demonologist level 33. And we have a Demon Pet level 20. So, a lot of people commented on my last video saying they really liked the Demonologist as a class. And I just actually got some Void Mana there, so I'm just going to use my abilities real quick. Just using my abilities right now, everyone. Let me just buy all available upgrades. That's done now. So, all, about, uh, all available upgrades have been purchased. Beautiful stuff. Just going to keep purchasing all the items there as well. This is what you want to see, dude. This is awesome. Look at all the achievements we're getting right now. Wow. Level 35 Demonologist right now. Thanks to purchasing all the available upgrades. That is what you want to see, bro. So yeah, at the moment, we're just absolutely crushing everything in our way. No real threats whatsoever. No real issues. Um, I'm thinking, since I'm level 35, does that mean I, I can actually start getting some mysteries? Let's have a look here. Uh, Exile, yes, wow, okay, I can get some mysteries, okay. alright, I can get 11.81k mysteries everyone, I'm only on tw uh, 238 right now, so you got to think about how good that really is dude, uh, that's going to keep on rising though isn't it, let's have a look, 13.16k on the mysteries, this is ridiculous progression right now, this is probably the best progression I've ever had on Idol Wizard, either way, I do hope that you're having a wonderful day out there. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Please remember, of course, to hit that like and subscribe button if you did enjoy today's episode. I really would appreciate it. Uh, without your feedback and support, you know, I would not be here. So right now we are sitting on 16.34k mysteries, still rising through the ranks there. Beautiful stuff indeed. Um, if you guys don't know, each mystery does increase profits by 3%. And the fact that we are already on 238 uh, is very nice, but... <laughs> since when we are going to exile ourselves, we're about to hit 20k mysteries and over that. So that's just incredible stuff. Look at this, everyone. Get ready for it, man. I suspect very soon we'll pass 20k. There we go, 21.46k. Well, there you have it. That is wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, I'm just thinking. If I keep leveling up the Nexus, we should be able to get to 100 Nexus fairly soon, hopefully, if all goes well. 23.02k uh, for the Exiles right there. Almost at 25k now for Exiles. I don't think there's any Void Mana behind us. No, there is not. So that's fine. Awesome. All right. Just keep leveling up everything that I can here. Let's go check out the other classes, by the way. What else can I do right now in this game? So I cannot unlock the Necromancer just yet. The Anarchist I can't unlock. The Prodigy I can't unlock. I guess I need more, more uh, what's it called? Mysteries. Just to actually get further into this game, I think. I need to get 300 Grimoires, really? That's apparent to unlock the next class, everyone. 300 Grimoires, at the moment on 238. There is some Void Mana there, though. Very nice indeed. Just pinched up more, uh, Void Mana straight away. Still going to purchase upgrades instantly as well, using my spell focus to generate spell shards. Spell shards are obviously the spells on the bottom of the screen there, guys, if you did not know. I'm actually quite curious, should I try and focus more on grimoires or should I focus on the nexus? Because I don't think it's worth actually changing my class now. I might as well exile myself and get the bonus money. I think that's what I'll do, everyone. I'll try and milk as much mana out of this run that I possibly can. Then I think we'll leave it at that, hey? I reckon that's the right choice either way. Just use Fireball again. Very nice damage and mana generation from Fireball. Gotta love that. Using Spell Focus again there. Excellent. This is going very well for us at the end of the day, dude. I'm actually quite happy with this. Definitely. I just can't wait to see what the other classes are actually going to bring us here on Idle Wizard, guys. Because I haven't really got that far into the game, technically. You have to think, I haven't really progressed that far into the game. Like, I'm only technically up to the third class right now. I have the whole game. But then again, that's if people actually want to explore the game to, to you know, try and complete every single class. Uh, because, yeah, right now, 
there's multiple subclasses as well for the main class. So Necromancer actually has Possessed, Lich, Naxgax, Lord of Cryptus, see what I mean? Like there's multiple, multiple different uh, subclasses for each class. So you just gotta keep that in mind. Right now we are at 36.3K overall mysteries. Dude, I might as well just start ex uh, exiling myself now. What do you guys think? Should I do it or not? I don't know, man. I don't know, because we're getting so many more mysteries by progressing right now. Do I just want to give it up and start all over again? I guess that's the real question here. I do want to try and get in power if possible. It just takes some time to actually get in power. You need 3,250 spell shards for that. That's the only downside there. Just grinding up spell focus. Oh, I don't want to exile, bro. I don't want to lose this all. I'm progressing so fast. But I reckon we'll do it. We'll just exile. Screw it. Done. I'm exiling myself. Let the journey begin. We're now 37.21k mysteries. That's an overall boost of 111k, everyone. Okay then, game. That is crazy. I'll gladly take that any day of the week. Let me just grab my first items here. Grab the mana, uh, mana gem. Instantly earning 358 mana per second with the mana gem. There you have it. See how powerful it is, bro. It's ridiculous. Gotta respect that and gotta love that. Gonna be leveling up in 25 blocks right now. Just try and get the max progression here out of my spells and items. There we go. 25 levels into the mana gem. Look at the amount of mana we're pulling off now. 12k already. Just purchased all upgrades and that's got me to nearly, oh, 187k. Dude, we're almost up to 100k. 25 grimoires has pushed us to 20, uh, 261k. Now we're over a million after purchasing those, uh, purchasing those upgrades. This is ridiculous progression. Gotta love it. Now, I need to get a pet at level 3. Which should not take that long at all to actually level up. Spell Fountain's now level 25. Grimoire's at 50. Mana Gem is at 75. Let's purchase all upgrades. We're now pulling off 34.77 million mana per second. That's up to 160. Ridiculous amount of power. Let's purchase our first pet here, the Pixie. Pixie's been purchased. Good stuff. Now, who, who else do we have here? The Demonologist to go idle again. I'm just thinking. Hmm, Diabolic. He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? Jeez, looks freaky. No worries. I probably will go Demonologist again, unless I can get the uh, 300 Grimoires or whatever I need to unlock the next class there of the Necromancer or Mancer, however you want to pronounce it. I guess I call it Necromancer. Just got 25 levels into Alchemy Desk. Enchanted Trees up to 50. Spell Fountains are 75. Mana Gems up to 100. Wonderful stuff. Pixie's at level 2 already. Just cruising through the levels here. 449 billion mana per second right now. Okay then, game. That was ridiculous. What just happened then? We're up to 6.58 billion now. We're just cruising through the levels, dude. Level 6 already, level 2 pixie. Mysteries have definitely helped us a lot. That's for sure. 13 billion mana per second now. I'm gonna try and save up a lot here. Try and get some more uh, items. What should we get next? Circle of power, definitely. That's put us to 37 billion mana per second. Just gonna keep on leveling up these items to the right here, guys. Just destroying everything in our way, pretty much at this point. I guess this is what happens when you do exile in uh, Idle Wizard. You just get to destroy everything that's in your path, pretty much. That's what it seems like, anyway. I might save up for the Nexus here, or maybe Dimensional Rift. I'll have a look anyway, we'll just wait. I think it's 4.05 trillion for Dimensional Rift. That should not take that long at all. We do have spell scrolls here as well. Probably should start doing that. Magic missile, definitely. And spell focus. So magic missile and spell focus. Spell focus to generate the spell shards. Simple as that. Level 9 at the moment, guys, with the apprentice. Let's use magic missile. Unlock dimensional rift. That's put us to 631 billion. Now we're up to 1.58 trillion mana per second. No worries at all, game. 
Love it. Absolutely love it. So if I leave this game on overnight, or at least if I actually, you know, check up on this game daily, we should be able to progress so far. Like, seriously, I can't imagine how far I would actually manage to get if I checked this game every single day. We're already up to 2.26 trillion, dude. That is so good. Now, I need to get Magic Missile. There we go, Magic Missile has just been used again, put us to 3.21 trillion. No Void Mana just yet, though, from what I've seen. Already unlocked the Nexus, everyone. 21 levels into the Nexus. There is the Void Mana I am searching for. Wonderful stuff. So now we are using our Magic Missile when Void Mana is uh, active and on the field. We're now generating 413 trillion mana per second. That is dropping, though. That is obviously based on the Void Mana. Just going to keep that in mind, of course. Nexus is now up to level 50. Wonder how high I can get that Grimoire. We'll find out in a second, definitely. Grimoire is now up to 200. You're getting closer and closer to actually leveling up the... Uh, or unlocking the Necromancer. 300 Grimoire needed, though. Just got to keep that in mind. I wonder if I can actually manage to pull that off or not. Grimoire's not really pulling off any amount of uh, serious mana generation, though. That's the only downside right now. Deep Studying unlocked. Okay, got another achievement there, everyone. Level 20 Apprentice right now. Keep buying all the upgrades that are possible here, and I reckon I'll try and go to the Necromancer. Don't know if I'm, if I'm, like, if I'm going to be able to achieve it today, but that's my end goal, to try and get the Necromancer, because I, I want to see a new class. I haven't seen a new class yet. Except for the Demonologist. Mind you, there's nothing wrong with the Demonologist. It's a very powerful class. I just want to see what else the game has to offer. So I'm just going to try and level up these upgrades here as much as I can. I do have a third spell here. Didn't even see that. Uh, magic Weapon. Hmm. Conjure Greater Elemental. Conjure Lesser Elemental. Level 21 for that one. That shouldn't take too long, surely. We're about to level up now, actually, guys. There you go. Speaking about it, I'm level 21 now. There you have it. Conjure, Greater Elemental. There is a bat. Just give me more mana. Thank you very much, game. Just going to try and pump out this damage as much as we can. Going to put on Auto Cast on Magic Missile. So, Auto Cast. Oh, no. Auto Cast will go on Spell Focus, I reckon. We'll keep on trying to cast Spell Focus as much as possible. Hopefully that's working. That better be auto-casting. Yeah, it is. Good. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. It says I have one batch there. Uh, hold Alt to enable. Hold Alt to click this button. Disable careful auto-selection. Hmm. Let's go this one. Reckless casting. So it always uses it. I'm going to do Reckless Casting, everyone, so Spell Focus is always used. Just so I don't forget to actually cast it. Okay. So Magic Missile will cast when it has full charges, and Spell Focus will constantly charge and use itself. That's good for me, right? That should hopefully work out in the long run, ideally. Can't imagine why not. Just taking some time to actually conjure that up. I reckon while I'm playing, though, I'll do it myself. I might as well conjure it myself for everyone. Just to speed things up a bit. There's some void mana. Did just grab some void mana. I was lucky enough to see it then. That was very, very lucky indeed. Let's buy all upgrades straight away. Just to get that minor boost. No worries. Slowly getting there. Slowly but surely, dude. Magic missile is about to be used again. Wonderful. Should I unlock the circle of power, guys? Or should I, should I save up maybe for a better thing? No, I'll unlock the circle of power. It's not really helping us that much. It's helping us a bit. We're starting to generate mysteries again, which is good. That means we're getting back to the place where we were last time. As I said, though, I'm not able to actually get the grimoire right now. I think I might have to go to the demonologist again. Legit. Demonologist helps us with idle. 
But with the apprentice, we do get the magic missile. That's the only thing, dude. Hmm. Interesting choices. Just trying to figure out what exactly I should do. Maybe I'll just use the demonologist for now. I use the demonologist just for now, guys. Fireball. And gem resonance. I always want to cast gem resonance. Okay. So spell for actually no, I always want to cast fireball and spell focus. We'll go back to idle mode here and really generate that uh, mana now. Let's get ready for it, everyone. Back into idle mode now. 264 trillion. Everything is going a bit slow right now, but that's okay. What we'll have to do eventually here, guys, is actually leave the game on. Or not, not even leave the game on. I guess what we'll do, we'll come back in a couple of days and see where the game's got up to in progression. At least we made some excellent progression today. Got those mysteries up from 200 to 37,000. It's given us 111k bonus. So percentage bonus, obviously, overall, which is great. So yeah, I reckon what I'll do is I'll wrap it up here, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that you all did enjoy today's episode. I will catch you on the next episode of Idle Wizard in the next couple of days, okay? I'm level 24 right now, by the way, with the Demonologist. So the more I level him up, the more progression I'll get and more mana I'll get. Simple as that. All right, catch you all around, guys. Thank you again for watching. See you later.